From LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Mornings LA Late. It's a big morning of Mornings LA with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update 2022 today with CR for stimulus 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, and 4.0. The incredible opportunities to get a stimulus check in a continuing resolution and other bodies of legislations. Plus, we have big new updates about SS200 back in the mix. We call it SS200 2.0 and then repurposing existing funds out the door as checks. All those incredible details delivered to you live on air direct from Santa Monica this morning. We'll go over the incredible breaking news about what happened with CR for Stimulus 1 and 4.0 overnight. 2 and 3 getting merged. SS200, we're going to look back on the history of that and why it has been now over a year as promised and why there's new opportunities today. Then we'll look in at the repurposing of money and then, of course, stay to the very end because we have thousands of dollars you can get right today as viewers continue to get tens of thousands of dollars it's third stimulus meantime we'll look back at build back better act of the fourth stimulus recon and how it will be done it's in the house sent to the senate a lot of legislations with the passage of the recon in the house now in the senate the passage of cr for stimulus 2 now in the senate and not less than two other bodies of legislations in the Senate that can give you big sums of money, plus the repurposing of money for you and SS200. We have a big recording because guess what? The toast is toasting, the butter is buttering, the cough is brewing, and the money is flowing. And it all starts right here, right now, as Mornings I Like gets underway, live from Santa Monica, California, starting right now. Hey, good morning, hey, everybody. Here we go. The House passed the recon back in November, sent to the Senate. But guess what's also been sent to the Senate? Your CR for Stimulus 2.0. Oh, my goodness. Incredible great news. As CR for Stimulus 2.0 will be merged with 3.0, I'll have the latest details and updates brand new in today's recording about 1, 2, 3, and 4.0. Then we'll go back into SS200, which is heating up so many viewers' excitement in this recording, in this channel. This is the additional $200 that goes on top of your benefits check every month. New opportunities to get this money out the door. Plus, third stimulus. Viewers got $45,000 from earlier this year. I'm going to show you how to get those big sums of money as well. We got a lot in today's recording, plus repurposing of money across the board. Oh, my goodness. It's a huge recording. It's live on air. I'm excited you're here. And the excitement starts right here. But first, I want you to subscribe. You're watching LA, the number three most watched financial news channel in America. Hit that subscribe button right now to become a member and bring this channel to number two in the United States. Hit that subscribe button like the video two three thousand likes and also consider becoming a member purple hawk purple power or casino vip so you get that incredible newsletter monday through friday 7 p.m pacific standard time via the youtube alert system and the la light alert system and away we go here we go very exciting details in today's recording we're going to go over the incredible build back better act to start that has less no less than upwards of 50 to sixty thousand dollars of checks in there we're going to go over those checks first then go into the cr analysis thereafter Remember, the Build Back Batter Act passed in the House, now in the Senate, has fifty, sixty thousand dollars of checks in there, growing from the initial believed fifteen thousand dollars. You ready to look at those incredible sums of money? Here we go. Three clusters, three add-ons. Take notes, and away we go. In the first cluster, hazard pay for my essential workers got in there. Four thousand dollars of elder care got it in there. Five hundred fifty dollars check for the Pell Grant recipients got in there. Twelve thousand five hundred dollars for the purchase of a new electric vehicle. Home repairs if you live in a low income community. Thirty six hundred dollars for the CTC one more year, 
And then the Pell Grant. Wow, incredible great news. That is the first of three clusters. Now, there is also three add-ons. And you know what that first add-on is? It's one of the most exciting provisions that so many viewers of this channel really adore. And it is money to buy your first home. Incredible. Comes from Maxing Waters here in Southern California. It was supposed to be $25,000. It's just a little bit less. And again, this is money given for you for the purchase of your first home during escrow from the federal government. Wow. That is the Build Back Better Act's first add-on. Now let's go into the second cluster checks in that Build Back Better Act. Home repairs. This is to weatherize your home. And paid leave. My goodness. Paid leave is a lot of money. What is paid leave? Let's go over all the details of it right now. Paid leave is if you have to stay home due to sickness or illness, due to you or someone else in the household. How much does it pay? A lot. $1,700 a week if you make $70,000 or more of annual income. If you make $35,000 or more of annual income, then it is $800 a week. If you make $15,000 annual income, it is $400 a week. How many weeks? Four to six weeks per year. So yeah, that is a lot of money. Four to six thousand dollars a year. W two ten ninety nine. You all get these incredible sums of money. Now the great news is that if you don't work, but your son or daughter does work and has to take off from work because of you to take you to the doctor's office, then they're going to get a check from the household. That is paid leave, and that is the second cluster of checks. You know what the third. Add, what the second add-on is, if you're on the live chat right now, write the number because I have a feeling you know what the number is. Yeah, you got it right. It's about $250 billion of free home health care for seniors and people on disabilities. It comes from Bob Casey. It comes from Pennsylvania. And wow, it's incredible. Now let's go to that third cluster of checks. Are you ready? Let's find the deliciousness right now. <laughs> free internet. Then the money for the farmers, the money for the independent contractors, and then the free school meals for all. Finally, the seniors. Two rounds of checks coming in the cent house, and three coming on the Senate side. On the House side, they got in there the Medicaid gap fix, and then the hearing checks. Then the Senate has vowed to add dental vision and lowering the eligibility age of Medicare, which is par for the course of what we're talking about when we talk about the third add on our checks. And you know what those three letters are. If you're in the live chat right now, write those three letters. If you know what the third add on to checks are, there they are. I see someone writing it. It's MSC. MSC. Who gets it? How much is it? How does it work? Where does it come? And also, how does it get added to this incredible recon? MSC is a program where the checks go out from IRS. It stands for Monthly IRS Stimulus Checks. The Four Stimulus Recon, the Build Back Better Act, has lots of checks in there, upwards of 60000 But these are checks that come from IRS. That's what differentiates them. Okay, so who gets it? Tens of thousands of viewers of this channel were told by those senators that the eligibility is the same as a third stimulus check. So who got the third and who would get the fourth? Let's recap if you forgot. Single individuals, $75,000 or less annual income, you would get it. Married couple, $150,000 or less annual income, you get it, but it would be doubled. Family of four, you would get it quadruple. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security Rail Benefits, you would get it as well. It is not income. It's not taxable. It would be also paid to adult dependents. It's offered nationwide, not on a state-by-state -state basis. And it would go off the most recent tax return. So if that tax return did have a direct deposit account on it, that's how you get paid otherwise in the mail. So then how much? $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter for up to six months is what those senators have told tens of thousands of viewers of this channel. So where do they add the provision into the Build Back Better Act? One clear, clear place, which is in the Senate. So let's go over the nuances of that right now, the Senate changes, and CR for stimulus. <laughs> so the senators represent that they would add this during the Senate subcommittees. How does this work? Well, the body of legislation, the Build Back Better Act, passed in the House and now in the Senate since November, we go to the Senate subcommittees. They modify it, add it in there, get a bill, call for a vote, then have a two-day voterama. That's how it works. Now, is there other opportunities across the board? There are. And that's what we call on this channel CR for stimulus. We're stepping away now from Build Back Better Act, and we're looking at other opportunities to insert a check into other pieces of legislation that would get done faster and quicker. The nuances are the following. 
bipartisan, fast, inherent deadline, small bill, get it done across the board. Sound familiar? It should. Detailed in 2020, I came up on this channel with the concept of a CR for Stimulus 2020. It became law, but then two weeks ago, I brought it back on this channel for CR for Stimulus 1.0. Since then, the House has passed 2 Point oh, the senators say they have 3.0 already, and 4.0 could be in the works as well. Let's go over all this, but let's start back into 2020 to understand the concept of what CR for stimulus looks like. Back in 2020, we had just started the pandemic. First stimulus package was done. We needed more money. So we were being told that a second stimulus package was in the works. Package meaning it was thousands of pages in length. There were two negotiators on behalf of the Democrats, Nancy Pelosi, Speaker of the House, on behalf of the Republicans, Joe, uh, uh, Steve, uh, Steve Mnuchin out of New York, then Treasury Secretary. They negotiated in the spring, no deal. In the summer, no deal. Fall, no deal. And then in the winter no deal by december of no deal between nancy and steve over a thousand page plus bill i thought to myself i need something else and so what i was looking for was the following i wanted something that was not a package not three thousand pages of length like this i want something small two i wanted something that went bipartisan number three something that had an inherent deadline and number four something that would go fast i looked high and low to try to find it and then finally i found it what is called a continuing resolution and it has a lot of different names but the cr refers to a budget bill that's done every approximately three to six months by the federal government and i liked it because it fit the equation of what i was looking for one they'll roll it over a day or a week maybe a month but not several months it has an inherent deadline number two it goes by parson number three it's small it's not thousands of pages in length and with that i prepared my first recording for you in december 2020 what to say, what to advocate for, and what to respond to with the criticism anticipated. And with that, in December 2020, I went on air with my very first message to the viewership of this channel. And this is what I said to the viewers. I said, hey, everybody, it's Al Light. And I have been watching Second Stimulus for months like you have. It's been 11 months. They don't have it done. So let's do something additional to it. I call it CR for Stimulus. My creation is the following. We have a budget bill that's due in December 2020. Let's try to advocate to insert a stimulus check in there. Do you like the idea? Viewers will love the idea. It was quick. It was fast. It was a quick turnaround time. And it would go by bipartisan support. And with that, we advocate. If you're in the live chat right now, write that hashtag campaign, CR for stimulus. That was what we advocated in December 2020. And immediately, the criticism came in. But I was ready for the criticism when I heard it. The criticism was exactly as I anticipated. It doesn't belong in there, Adelaide. That's crazy. <laughs> the criticism continued. It doesn't belong in there. This is a bill to fund the federal government. There's no money in there for the American people. It doesn't belong in there. This is money to fund the federal government. My reaction was ready. You're right. It doesn't belong in there. But since the start of time, Congress has passed the legislation when they inserted money into legislation that doesn't belong in there. They have passed legislation where checks don't belong in there. And during this pandemic, they had a COVID relief bill that fund, that proposed to fund military governments, a COVID relief bill that proposed to build a brand new FBI building, and a COVID relief bill that proposed to give money to the Department of Copyrights. I know it doesn't belong in there, so we're going to push. And one morning we woke up and we looked and suddenly we heard stimulus was going in a continuing resolution we thought we had won until we looked and realized no it's unemployment stimulus not what we asked for so we pushed again and then finally we woke up and it was in there an announced 600 dollars stimulus check was going to be inserted in the continuing resolution it was my creation it was my idea no one had ever heard of it there was a lot of criticism about it and it became law the continuing resolution became law the $600 check went out, you got in December or January of that year, and guess what? Second stimulus never went to the finish line. There never was a second stimulus package that became law. There never was a second stimulus check, and it never got a vote. So two Saturdays ago, I went on air, you would have said, do you want to bring it back? And viewers said, yeah, I want to bring it back, because guess what? 
The negotiations from Joe and Joe have been going on for 11 months. We don't have an inherent deal. Let's get this done and let's do it right now. And with that was birthed the return of CR for Stimulus. What we call on this channel now, CR for Stimulus 1.0. In less than two weeks, the House of Representatives clearly heard us because they said the same thing. We like the Build Back Better Act. We support it. It will pass. But we need other pieces of legislation. And the comment came in from Representative California uh, Democratic Representative Pete Aguilar that while we do support the Build Back Better Act, we need, quote, additional pieces of legislation that will continue to help alleviate supply chain and tamper down inflationary pressures. And Aguilar went on to say that we need to pass lots of economic recovery legislation. That was Thursday, last Thursday. And guess what happened 24 hours later? It passed. The House of Representatives passed CR for Stimulus 2.0. It landed in the Senate, and guess what was ready? 3.0. I have all the incredible great news about what happened with 2 and 3 in the second half of this video. But I have brand new breaking news you're going to hear for the first time ever on Morning Daylight about what's happening with 4.0. And what's happening with our creation, our initial start, 1.0. Brand new updates. Then we'll be looking to what's going on with the president with his opportunity for SS200. We'll take a walk back two years ago when SS200 first was created as a concept. And we'll look at what the president has the opportunity to now do and why Joe Biden should do it with SS200 2.0. Then we'll go over the opportunity for the president to repurpose money and send that money out to you. How does it work? All the latest details on that in the second half of this video. Plus, stay to the very end because we have thousands of dollars of money available for you right now. Viewers have gotten ten to fifteen thousand dollars. It is third stimulus. Then we'll be cutting back to Build Back Better Act, and you'll see some of my commentary across the board. We got a lot coming up in this video with a lot of money. Stay to the very end. But first, here's a little bit about the community page. I'll be back with you in sixty seconds with more about all this exciting money. CR for Stimulus 1, 2, 3, and 4.0's updates coming up in the second half of this video. But first, hear a little bit about the community page. See you back in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now as Mornings LA continues live from Santa Monica, California with incredible great news of CR for Stimulus. 2.0 passing in the House, sent to the Senate, and will merge with CR for Stimulus 3.0. My goodness. I have the latest updates on 2, 3, 4.0, brand new details today on Mornings LA, and 1.0, ours as well. Then we'll be turning back into Build Back Better Act and what you need to know about all those sums of money. Stay to the very end because I'm going to show you how viewers have gotten ten dollars to $20,000 this week. It's third stimulus. Then we'll be looking at the opportunity of the president to do SS200. This is incredible. We've been detailing SS200 on two years on this channel. And we'll look back at the first two years of SS200 and how we can get it done now faster and easier than ever before. Then we'll be looking at repurposing money and what the president of the United States can 
can do to repurpose of money. Oh, we got a lot of money in the second half of this video. I'm excited you're here. If you've just found this channel, you've never watched it before, well, welcome. You're watching LLA, America's most number three most watched financial news channel in America. So subscribe, like the video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. The link is under the video. Meantime, sign up for those LA alerts. We got a lot of shows coming up today. People have been asking me about that chocolate cake recipe. It's more exciting than CR for Simmons 5.0. <laughs> the chocolate cake recipe is coming up at noon at 11 o'clock and Home Street and Stimulus tonight at 7 o'clock. So watch for those, those two shows to learn about that sugar-free chocolate re cake recipe that so many people have been asking about, you know. Just mention chocolate cake, you're good for the whole rest of the day. <laughs> and with that, let's go into the other breaking news across the board. CR for stimulus 1, 2, 3, and 4.0. Big updates, brand new breaking news starting right now. 1.0. The major update on that one is the following. The continuing resolution of CR for stimulus 1.0 push is to insert a stimulus check into the continuing resolution. When's its deadline? Late February in this month. Okay. What is the opportunities? Get it done in February or don't get it done in February? Over the last few days, I told you that you don't want them to roll it out. That's called a stopgap. So I told you two people to advocate to, Patrick Leahy and Chuck Schumer. Why? Senator John Tester, Democrat from Montana, said that when you look at the situation, you just need four people. Leahy, Schumer, McConnell, and another Republican to agree upon the price tag of the whole CR for stimulus, the still continuing resolution. Once you agree to the price tag, we're done. It'll just take a few days to write the bill, and we're done. We're done the month of February. That's Tester's comment. So I told viewers for the last few days, advocate to Leahy, that's L-E-H-Y, Senator Patrick Leahy, Democrat from Vermont, and Chuck Schumer, you know him, Democrat from New York, advocate for three things. One, Get the continuing resolution done this month, February. Don't do a stopgap, number two. And insert a stimulus check in there like you did in December 2020. You can do it again. We've had your back with the Build Back Better Act. We supported you. We've been patient about the Build Back Better Act. It's been 11 months. You don't have it done. You've told us you would give us a check. Tens of thousands of viewers have shown up, channel been told by the same Democratic senators you're getting a check. Well, if Build Back Better Act is not becoming a reality this month, send us out a check in the continued resolution. You've done it before in December 2020. You can do it again. Mitch just likes checks. And guess what? You can see in the second half of this video how Republicans are starting to want to give people money because the midterm elections is around the corner. So insert a check in there. And that's what I said to advocate. So what's the update on CR for Symbols 1.0, which we're still on? The update is that... The House of Representatives, which is not where Chuck is, he's in the Senate, passed overnight a stopgap. Now, do not breathe heavily. <laughs> do not breathe heavily. Stopgap is to roll this over to March 18th. Well, that is not what the Senate is doing just yet. It's a backup if the senators need it. Again, you want the senators to get it done in the month of February, this month, and that is what Tester says they can do. That's what the House did. We also have new legislate, uh, new literature, literature and press comments out from Chuck Schumer, who puts this, the continuing resolution, on his short list of things to be done before the presidential uh, president's holiday weekend break. So that's good. We're on point for CR for stimulus 1.0, but continue to advocate for it. Two and three. What is the update on CR for stimulus two and three? This is very exciting. So 2.0 was the first of many pieces of legislation that House Democrats proposed to pass, says Representative Pete Aguilar. And it's now passed in the House since last Friday. As soon as it passed in the House, the Republican senators, you heard me right, Republican senators said, I'm so excited that the House Democrats passed it because we're going to merge it with our piece of legislation in the Senate. Great. So the senators are working on their version in the Senate, that I'm calling CR for Stimulus 3.0. They vowed to merge it with 2.0 and get it done. That's all great news. 4.0 has some very fascinating updates today. CR for Stimulus 4.0 is the look to potentially put a check instead into another body of legislation. This is the Russian sanctions bill. 
Why does this one make sense? Same concept. Small, bipartisan, 100-page bill, has inherent deadline. The concept is that Russia is looking to potentially invade Ukraine. We need to sanction Russia. And they're going to do this legislation very quickly, says the bipartisan support. Bob Menendez on behalf of the Democrats and Marco Rubio on behalf of the, of the uh, Republicans. Well, what's the new update on this in the last few hours? It was not included, this body of legislation, in the short list of what Chuck Schumer wants to do before the break. And it was also not mentioned to him by him verbally at all. Does anyone notice that absence of mention? Yeah, Bob Menendez, who's one of Chuck Schumer's closest friends. So you don't need me to tell Chuck Schumer this. He's going to hear it from Bob Menendez, and he already has. Bob Menendez had a lunch with Chuck on Tuesday saying, why are you not mentioning CR for Stimulus 4.0, the, the Ukrainian bill? Uh, we need to get this done now. You don't sanction someone after they invade. <laughs> you sanction them before they invade. So that's the latest update on 1, 2, 3, and 4.0. The concept, again, is using an additional piece of legislation in addition to the Build Back Better Act, which will pass, but using this first to get a check out to you right now because you've been patient for Build Back Better Act. It's been 11 months. Get this check out now, and then we'll still wait for CO for Build Back Better Act to get those MSCs and those other pieces of legislation out the door. Which then brings us to the presence opportunity to do monies for you that are in addition to this. And the first one is repurposing money, and the second one is SS200 repurposing money. Very, very simple concept. The concept stems across the following idea. Congress passes laws, and in passing the laws, establishes federal agency programs. Those programs are funded. Once they're funded, the programs eventually end. But when they end, they sometimes have leftover funds. Where do those funds go? Nowhere. They stay in the agency. Until someone says, you know what, you have extra funds, I want them moved over here. So the concept is very simple. The President of the United States, with a mere phone call, can repurpose that money out as a check to you or checks. We saw this twice during the Trump administration and can be done in the Biden administration as early as the moment of this video. First, Donald Trump during the Trump administration understood that millions of Americans need additional weeks of FPC. That was the $600 that went on top of your UI and PUA. It had run out. He did not want to go back to Congress. So what did Trump do? He looked around to find extra sums of money seen around that were left over from programs that had ended, and he found it in FEMA. FEMA? <laughs> yeah. The one that governs tornadoes and hurricanes and national disasters. He said, you have extra money. We're going to repurpose it as unemployment. And they did. Did not need an executive order, did not need an act of Congress. All it needed was a phone call. Second opportunity was the biggest blunder of the Trump administration or the biggest blunder of any presidential campaign. $550 billion identified and confirmed on this channel and Steve and other Republicans sitting at SBA. SBA's programs had ended. The money was still there. $550 billion. Trump could have repurposed as two stimulus checks, sent it out in the mail right before you vote, before the presidential elections. I think you would have voted differently if someone had given you two stimulus checks right before you voted. And that was an opportunity that was missed. That money from SBA is now gone. So Joe Biden can do this as well. He has the inherent authority to repurpose the money. All we have to do is find the money. So if you're one of those viewers who's very good at finding money, I have a lot of viewers who love doing this, send me a private message. If you find a federal agency, especially one created by COVID, that is now ended and has extra money seen around, you'll potentially see this in a news article somewhere, a print article. Send me a private message, and I'll feature your details on air and how to advocate for that. And with that, we turn back to the second big opportunity that what Joe Biden can do. And we see something new you never see on this channel for a long time, upwards of two years. SS200. And we're going to go over the history of SS200. And now two years, it has been a topic of discussion started by Democrats and how the President of the United States can get it done today with something I'm calling SS200 2.0. What is SS200? Where did it come from? And what also was it coupled with? Back in January of 2020, 
we had Democrats running for president, and among them was Liz Warren. And in running for president, she had proposed an idea to reform the Social Security Administration and give you an additional $200 a month, 6 to 12 months, if you're on benefits with the concept of being that you had not been paid enough for many, many years because your benefits had been left behind. And that was then. The concept was that millions of Americans needed this money. And so she ran on that platform. And that is what her platform was in January of 2020. No less than a month later, Chuck Schumer, Ron Wyden, Liz, and others introduced into the Senate a proposal that mirrored exactly that language. Then, by spring and summer of 2020, Liz Warren withdrew from running for president. And Joe Biden said, you know what? I like a lot of Liz Warren's policies. I like a lot of them. And I'm going to adopt them to bring her constituents into my mix for running for president. And one of the programs he proposed to use was her SSI reform. And he actually put it in his campaign materials. This was by summer 2020. He won the presidential election. And then in his transition papers, posted at JoeBiden.com in fall 2020. They are still posted. You can read them on line, online. He said after he won the presidential election that he will deliver SS200. He will, quote, increase monthly security checks, Social Security checks by $200 a month as proposed by Wyden and colleagues. Seniors and people with disabilities are uniquely at risk right now, end quote. That's from Joe Biden. Well, you're still at risk. There were, then became three different bodies of legislation to introduce, none of which went to a vote, one from Lawrence and one from Sanders and one from Mitt Romney. And none of these things ever went to the finish line. What happened by the first two, three months of Biden's administration is that Democrats that are sitting back were saying, you know what, you proposed all this Social Security reform. We're going to do this as a bill. This stimulus recon. Remove the asset cap, remove the income cap, remove the marriage penalty, do the SS200, and there we go. Now, of those, everything except the SS200 and one of the other provisions has to go by recon. But two days ago, I delivered on air the opportunity for Joseph Biden to do SS200 today without the need of any act of Congress, without any need of an executive order without any need of a vote, without any need of a recon. And Joe Biden, you promised it. You should do it. You put it in your campaign materials. You haven't even posted to this day on your website. You should do it, and you should do it within 30, day, 30 days from now. And I'll show you right how he does it right now. First, I'm going to go over the numbers, how much money it is, and then I'll go over how he does it. He could get you at least $200 a month, 30 days from now, not six to 12 months like Liz Warren promised, but a lifetime. Wow. How does he do this? By removing COLA and using inflation as your benchmark. All right, now let's step back and understand how this works. There are federal agencies out there, and in their establishment, they have their inherent authority to do the things the way, the way they want to. So they don't need Congress to tell them how to brush their teeth or cross or tie their shoelaces. They do it under how they wish to do it. If you were watching this channel about a year ago this week, you'll remember that there was a guy named Commissioner Saul, head of Social Security Administration, who was under fire because guess what? He wasn't getting out your checks on time. And Joe Biden came in and said, you know what, you're a Trump appointee. I'm getting you out of here. I'm replacing you with my appointee. Months passed and Joe Biden was unhappy with how much uh, SNAP, Department of Agriculture, was paying you for SNAP. So he said, you know what? I want to give you encouragement to pay Americans more money for SNAP. And he did. And you got 25% more lifetime. All he has to do to make SS200 a reality is a phone call. <laughs> it is not executive order. It is not repurposing money. It's not act of Congress. It's not a recon. It is a phone call to the person he hired to replace Commissioner Saul. And all he has to say is the following words. 30 days from now, get rid of COLA and replace with inflation. Done. It's that simple. Joe Biden, why would you not do it? 
Now let's go over the calculation of how this works so you understand the number and why this is so simple. Your benefits every year go up, potentially, or stay the same, based upon COLA, a benchmark. But COLA doesn't work. Everyone admits it doesn't work. Between 2015 and 2016, flat. 17, 18, flat. This last year went up 5.9% because inflation went up. Well, inflation went up 7.5% and COLA went up 5.9%. Which one's better? <laughs> inflation is 7.5%. Swapping inflation for COLA is an additional 2% and it's an additional $200 a month, lifetime, done. Now, who first told you that inflation should be the benchmark? In addition to the de Democrats, I also predicted where inflation was going to go. And one of the few times I ever pat myself on the back, it's here. Everyone got inflation wrong except me. And Biggie's got it wrong. And I have new data that came out just minutes ago about where inflation is going to go. So you want to tune in for this because I'm going to show it to you right now. Last year, Federal Reserve said inflation was going to be 1% to 2% transitory temporary in December 2020. One, I said untrue. I believe it's going to be 8% in December 2021. And it's not going to be temporary. I was right. Wall Street says it's going to be 2 to 3% in temporary. I said no. It's going to be 8%. It's not going to be temporary. I was right. Guess what happened? Inflation came in last month, 7.5%. I hit it right on the money, and it was not temporary. What's the breaking news? Minutes ago, one of the major transporter of goods across the globe in the seas, in the waters, was asked, when is inflation going to go away or settle down? One month, <laughs> like the Federal Reserve said. Uh, and like I said, no, not going to be one month. Two months? Uh, no, it's not going to be two months. What did they say? second half of this year. It said that the current inflation you're seeing right now is still going to be hot all the way to about June, all throughout second quarter 2022, and will not go down into the second half of this year. This is one of the major transport companies. Everyone believes them. I believe them as well. So that's why you want this benchmark. And this would give you the SS200 30 days out from now. And that's how we rock and roll on this channel. Now, let's go back into the big incredible provisions of the Build Back Better Act right now. And we're going to look also to how to get tens of thousands of dollars right today from Third Stimulus. Boy, it's all very exciting. Now, remember, as a Purple Hawk, I want you to get money as soon as it becomes alive. So... These are all provisions that were put into the Build Back Better Act in December last year. I want you to know these very well. No time, no place to learn about them after the fact because you want to pounce this purple hawk, 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 and get the money first as soon as it becomes a law. They got $72,500 of what you can deduct at state and local taxes on the salt cap, raising from $10,000. They got in there cheaper prescription medication, growing it from 10 medications day one to 30 by year 2028, cancer, arthritis, diabetes. They got $40 billion of free job training checks in there. They got the Medicaid gap fix, providing years of subsidized private insurance to low-income uninsured people in 12 Republican holdout states. They got $550 checks for the Pell Grant. They got $12,500 towards the purchase of a new electric vehicle. They got the housing, which I'll cut back to a second. They got the $65 per month for nutrition when you're not in school. They got the, ha the hazard pay, which we went over, the EIC, $3,600, and the household tax credit. A lot of incredible details across the board. But now let's turn to the housing provision. The housing provision has two provisions that which are new, which are the home repairs, which we went over, and the first-time home purchases. But the other provisions are repeating from third stimulus. The great news is you don't have to wait for this. You can get it right now, and it is with third stimulus. In spring of 2020, when this channel launched, I got people a lot of money for EIDL and EIDL grants and loans. But in December 2020, as I was covering second stimulus, people needed money. It was the holidays. So I said, let me try to get you this money for rent. And there wasn't a lot of this money around. We got 250000 It was good then. But then I said, you know what? I have a, I have an almost exclusive-ish preview of this body of legislation coming next year. I think I'm going to call it third stimulus. It has this money again, but a lot of it. I think I can get you about fifteen thousand. Well, the viewership of this channel got on average forty-five thousand. That was their first round. Rent, utilities, mortgage assistance. Then I told you to get another round last summer. They got another round. 
Then last month, I said, get another Christmas round, about 15,000. Well, I'm going to show you how to get another round of this right now. This is big money. Get your pen and paper out. This is rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and more. And we're going to look at the rent right now. It has grown so much, How this rent. It was back in the month of October. This graphic, but boy, has it grown so much since then. This was October. It is now upwards of 40000 Where are you going to get this? Six places. City Hall, City House Authority. County Hall, County House Authority. State Hall, and State House Authority. And the key words you can say are rent assistance because of COVID. Mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. Three months. You must reach out to all three, six places. Th number two, you must get multiple rounds on file. And number three, you must get applications on file everywhere. Utility assistance because of COVID. Mark's brother in law is getting $15,000 a year. Get that money right now. Snap. Get it from the Department of Agriculture. And wow, it's a lot. Mark's brother in law is getting $25,000 a year. This is money for food. Get it right now. Eligibility is like a third sumo's check. Get combo items. Nisi and Art Sullivan start us on that. Get the combos. Mark was at two items of 32. I said, Mark, where's your third? He went from 32 to 50. Then from 50 to 100,000. Lorraine, she was at 105. Now she's at 120. When you look at these rounds now, I want you to get this round out as far as you can because we're in February. Try to get to May. Get a couple months. We've had a couple of viewers this week have gotten $20,000 just this week from Third Stimulus. If you've had a success story and I've not featured on air, send to me again a private message on social media. I'll feature on air this weekend. We have a lot of stuff to cover this weekend. Get this money out as far as you, as you can. You just found this channel? Lean on the six places featured in the membership newsletter gotten the money before reach out to the prior payor they say they're out of money then lean on the nonprofits, and that's how we rock and roll with third stimulus and with that let me go over some of my commentary of where we are right now as we go into a big big day first it's very important to understand that there's a lot of different moving pieces with a lot of different moving pieces of legislation. CR for stimulus is based upon a very simple concept. It doesn't have to be continuing resolution. That's just what we call it for now. If we can get a small bill, hundreds of pages of length, bipartisan support, inherent deadline, fast, that we can insert a check in there, get it out the door, it works. Why does it look like it may work even more now than even a week ago? You're going to see on Afternoon's LA Today, which is a brand new show at 3 o'clock, how suddenly, and I'm not the only one saying this, you open the doors and there's bipartisan efforts going on everywhere. Suddenly after two years of Republicans and Democrats going after each other, they're doing everything hand in hand. Why? Here's my commentary. is because it's a version of seats for stimulus. They all know that the midterm elections will be won by the party that addresses the economy and gets solutions to the economy passed. Complaining about the economy ain't going to get anyone elected. It's getting the solutions passed. And this is why it may look a lot like CR for stimulus. And you've never heard this before from me until right now, because I didn't realize it until I was saying it just right now. We got CR for stimulus into December 2020 when we were really at sort of the tail end of a presidential election. And parties were trying to win the elections and they're trying to do things and trying to get money out to you. Look like it right now. It does. Midterm elections are right around the corner. So Republicans and Democrats are both trying to get money out the door. So that is why this is all looking really good. Meantime, Joe Biden needs to do the things he can do, like SS200, like repurposing money. Finally, uh, also a personal commentary. This channel was birthed upon me trying to help get you assistance, helping you. And we did this first in the EIDL days. Then we went into this type of coverage with rent and more. And out there, there's always someone who's not there to help you, just there to just sort of, uh, you know, say something and not really help you. I adore my viewers who really try to help one another. There's always someone in the live chat says, I'm from my state and having problems finding the money. I'm from your state. In fact, I'm down the street from you. In fact, I dated your sister. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Excuse me, she never told me about this. Uh, so there's always someone in the live chat that's there to help someone else. Keep on helping each other. Keep on sharing whatever information you have learned from the videos and share it across the board. And I always help wherever I can help. And I'm going to help with some chocolate cake. <laughs> I don't know. It should be chocolate cake for stimulus. 
I made one comment two weeks ago, and I've literally gotten 9,000 messages about it. Ellie, can you give me the recipe for the chocolate cake? And I've said very routinely, I'm going to make a video about it. So guess what? That video is coming up next. <laughs> yes. On a street on home. Uh, on home, which is coming up in about uh, one hour from now at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, or if you're watching the show later in the day on uh, uh, on Street and Stimulus at seven o'clock, I will feature the sugar-free chocolate cake recipe that I that I sort of dropped in passing in some video over a week ago, and it's literally caused more uh, messages of advocacy than anything before. Advocate for the chocolate cake. Uh, uh, advocate to Ally for that chocolate cake recipe. Well, I will deliver it on air. I'll try to bring at least one of the ingredients on air with you. It's a lot of fun, and I haven't made it in whew, maybe six months, but it is great. It is really great for so many reasons. So uh, with that, join me also. We have a brand new Afternoons at Light at 3 o'clock and a brand new Evenings at Light at 5. Then we have Evenings uh, Countdown at 6 o'clock, Home Stream Simulus at 7, and then Evenings Extra at 8 o'clock. And with that, I want you to subscribe. I bring this channel from number three to number two most watched financial news channel in America. Like the video two, three thousand likes and consider becoming a member. Stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful day. Keep on advocating. Hope the weather's good where you are. It is brutally hot here in Southern California. I have no idea what's going on, but it's going to settle down hopefully um, by uh, the end of the week. Stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful morning and stay with Ally for more.